Thank you, Stan, Steve, members of the Selection Committee, and the you nice folks from Blair County. I want to commend you. You're the ones that we should honor. And Karen, JJ, you're the now and the future. We're all, unfortunately, the past. And this is the one sad thing about being up here with all of us old timers. We're history. But be that as it may, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Jim Gerties. Now, Jim's got a couple of character flaws. Now, I know he's a favorite son and all that sort of thing. I know he was a track and football hero here in Altoona High School. I know he was a great sprinter and a hurdler at Penn State. He beat Harrison Dillard, who was probably one of the best sprinters and hurdler ever. He was a most successful Navy track and cross country coach. He also taught several other sports down there. He directed numerous Special Olympic programs and high school track meets in Maryland. So you can see this man has done a lot of outstanding things, but he still has these flaws that I, I have a problem with. He wrote a book. He has a great family. But I still have this problem. You know, back at Penn State, we all had, I have a problem with those too. Back at Penn State, our coaches all felt that cross country was the basis for everything. You train for cross country before the season, during the season, and after the season. And the same thing with track. But Jim, he couldn't run more than a quarter of a mile. You know, after we're out there beating our brains out, we're looking for Jim. You know where he was? In the whirlpool. Shin splints. I don't know. I think he is proof of the old adage, his success as a, as a cross country coach at Navy, I think is a, is a proof of the old adage. Don't do as I do, do as I say. He always was a real con man. Another weakness that he had was a game of hearts. Now, at Penn State, you had to play hearts when you went on a trip, on a track trip. And Jim and I, we always thought that we were pretty good. But we ended up being contributors. Isn't that right, Jim? <laughs> Our coach, Chick Warner, I think, could have given his salary back to Penn State. He was usually the big winner. Now, there are a couple of other uh, Naval Academy stories that I think I've heard. If it's true, he has a pair of bedroom slippers that he takes with him everywhere. I think it's his security blanket. Now, is that true, Jim? I don't know what And another thing, when, if you happen to double up with Jim on a, a trip or something like that, Make sure you put away the blankets if it's a cold night. I understand he steals them, and he puts them on himself. Now, this, this he would do to a faithful and trusted and loyal assistant track coach. Can you imagine? Now, with those exceptions, ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you Jim Gerties, who was one of the best friends, a fine sprinter, and a greater hurdler, both at Penn State and later. And he's a great guy, Jim Gerties. <laughs> 